Watchman, blow the gospel trumpet, every soul a warning give. Whosoever hear the message may repent and turn and live. Ladies and gentlemen, in spite of what you're going through, just a quick little word to share with you. Signs of the times are everywhere that the coming of the Lord is near. If it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not an earthquake, it's a volcano. If it's not a volcano, it's a tornado or a hurricane or some crime, some deadly crime. Our ladies and gentlemen, we have in financial, economical problem all over the world. People in their country are in problem finding place, looking for place for refuge. Oh, brothers and sisters in our home, if it's not a, if it's not the light bill, it's the gas bill. If it's not the gas bill, it's some other bills, for we all have different bills, but you can testify. Many of us can testify when you pay the rent or the mortgage. As you turn around, here comes the same bill again next month. If it's not one thing, is another. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's not a sickness, it is some sort of family debt or some sort of thing. But brothers and sisters, I have good news for you. We serve a God who is rich. We serve a God who is all-knowing. We serve a God who cares for you. We serve a God who know where you sleep. We serve a God who know what you eat. We serve a God who care for the bees that fly on the flowers. We serve a God who care for the wasps, the bees and the fish of the sea. God provide for the birds. God provide for the animals of the field. And in spite of the hardship, in spite of the problem left, right and center, I, Evangelist F. Baxter, just want to say to you, remember God have the power to turn things around. But call on him. Call on this lovely name. Call on this powerful name. Call on this wonderful name. When you are going through, when things are not in your favor, I just want to encourage you. Call on this name called Jesus. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Oh, brothers and sisters all over the world, this is Evangelist F. Baxter. I just want to encourage everybody. It don't mean everything is perfect for Baxter. It don't mean everything is going my way. But brothers and sisters, in spite of what we are going through, I want to tell you that there is hope in the name of Jesus. I want to tell you there is salvation in the name of Jesus. And blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. I have never read that anybody who absolutely dedicate themselves to the Lord have ever failed in terms of your dedication and commitment to God. They always come out a champion and a winner. Yes, in the physical, they may not have this and they may not have that. Yes, when you look at the physical, you may say that. But eventually, people like Peter, people like Matthew, all them guys who lost, are not lost, but leave their job to follow Jesus. The Bible said, no man follow God and come out a loser. You may not have the things of the world, but I guarantee you, you will have a great future in God. So in spite of how things are going in the world, in spite of how things might be going in your personal life, I want to encourage you in Jesus Christ. Keep standing on the word of God. Keep reading the word. The little song said, read your Bible and pray every day and you will grow, grow, grow. Forget to read your Bible and forget to pray. His song say, we're going to shrink, shrink, shrink. So this little message is tell everybody that there are signs of the times everywhere. Flooding in some place, dangerous flooding. Some place is so hot like never before. Wildfire in some place. Disease and all type of great concern. But in spite of all the problems of the world, remember God of the power to turn things in your favor. Just like, oh God, take care of the flowers of the field that do not work, the birds that do not work, the animals God provide for them. In spite of what you are going through, sisters and brothers, trust God to take care of your business too. The old song say, hurt have no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal, and come into Jesus Christ, God's Son, 
is the best deal. I leave these few words with you to encourage you that God is still in control. And in spite of natural disaster increasing left, right, and center, remember there is a better day coming. There's a better day coming for all who serve God. You may go through rough times and tough times. Now, yes, we see that Job go through some tough, tough times. He lost everything. But in the end, Job get double for his trouble. Can you, can you testify with me? Job get double for his trouble. Somebody know what I'm talking about. It's true. So in these odd days, we might not get double for our trouble. But if we stay faithful, we'll, have, we'll get eternal life in the end. So when you see the signs of the times and the troubles of the world, do not go crazy. Remember what the Bible said in St. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, Jesus said. Believe also in me, he said, in my Father's house are many mansions. I'm going to say this again as I close. If God provide food and whatever the bees need he will provide for you you may not have everything but your bread and your water will be sure <laughs> your bread and your water will be sure so in spite of everything so in spite of everything remember god made a promise and he never lie jesus said in saint john's chapter 14 1 to 3 let not your heart be troubled you believe in god believe also in me jesus said in my father's house are what many mansions and he said if i go i will come again remember in spite of all the trials and troubles the setbacks the disappointment the cases that um, you have been let down you invest you get nothing for all your investment you lost your job you lost a loved one you feel like nobody care. I encourage you in Jesus' name that there is someone who care. There is someone who care and his name is Jesus. So look unto Jesus, who's the author and the finisher of our faith. Keep standing on the promises of God. So when you see earthquakes, when you hear about bad weather that caused so much damage, sometimes people, some of these weathers are so, so terrible that people work all their life and they lost everything. So... In this short little message at the same time, I want to say, when you invest, remember, the best investment to make is truly in God. But when we invest down here, we may lose everything. But when you, if you lost everything down here, you have Jesus, you still have everything. So I, I evangelize it back. So I encourage you, keep standing on the promises of God. And my key word is this, God provides for the birds, the wasps and the bees. He can supply your needs. Tell him about your trouble. It's not a sin to tell God about how you feel. Tell him about your trouble. Ask him to turn things around for you right now. And see what happened. This is the Zion's World Broadcast with Evangelist Fox sharing the word of God. Do not forget to take a minute out of your busy schedule to check out the Zion's World Broadcast. We have over 1,000 gospel messages up there. All Mr. Bax are trying to do is to share the word of God near and far, here and abroad. Please do not... Do not forget to share this message with somebody because this message can be a blessing to somebody else too. It is okay to like, subscribe, and share. Nobody forcing is just gently axing because we have new things coming up. So when we put up our new stop, if you hit that bell, notification bell, you'll get all our new messages come up. Keep it on to the set back and prayer. And remember, things down here may get worse. But if you have Jesus in your life, your future, sir, your future, my sister, will be bright. For Jesus Christ never lie. He said, if I go, I will come again. And Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as our work shall be. Let us live for Jesus. For in the end, that's what matter. Question will not be how much job you had, how much, how much degrees you have, and how much fame you have. The question is, did you serve God? Matthew chapter 25 said, I was hungry. You didn't give me nothing to eat, and I was sick, and you didn't visit me. The Bible said, at least you have done unto one of these. You have done it unto me. Jesus is speaking. Do your best in these last days to tell somebody 
that there is hope in spite of what we are currently going through. Trust God to turn things around in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.